Hello fanboys, fangirls, and fan people. My name is Emma Cantrell and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today I will be doing a video for um, my recreation shoots. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that I do a lot of shoots where I like recreate pictures that Harry Styles has posted and Harry Styles has done. Um, I started doing them about a year ago. It was on Harry's birthday last year um, in 2019. That was the first time I ever did a recreation picture or photo or anything like that. And I just did it for fun just because I was like, I want to do something special for Harry's 25th birthday. So I did like a recreation shoot with one of my friends named Clayton. And I posted them and everyone loved them and I loved them. I had so much fun doing them. So I decided to keep doing them. And this, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video showing you guys like kind of how I do my recreations and the process. So that's what this is, is a video of me showing you the process. And this is the most extravagant, I would like to preface this video with the fact that this is the most extravagant recreation shoot I have ever done. Normally they are not like this, normally they're a lot easier, a lot less expensive, they don't take as much time. But this one was a little bit different because this one, this picture was a little bit more extravagant, so the, the whole shoot has been more extravagant. So if you guys would like to see the journey I go on and the things I do to get ready for a recreation, um, keep on watching and let's get on with the video so you can see. So I went to Walmart and bought sheets. I'll show you what sheets I bought. But right now, me and my dad have been sitting here. He paints cars, so we've been looking at paint colors. And I'm deciding what paint color I think the sheets should be painted. Um, so I think we found one. It's called Citrus. It's kind of not exact, but when I edit the pictures later on or the photographer edits them, we'll make them match. The hairy picture so um a lot of people when they see these they're like oh my god like you must have like a lot of money and this that, and the other when i do these but actually now that you're seeing the process of this you see that like i kind of just like work it out and find a way to do it without doing it in an expensive way so it's really cool because like the sheets i got i think it was like 30 dollars for all the sheets the clothes i got the pants from amazon the shirt from a thrift store and then the shoes are on sale the hat, my photographer, she has the hat. So all in all, I've spent like, maybe like so far like 50 bucks on this, which I know that's a lot of money for a lot of people, but I work a lot. So, you know, it all works out. So um, yeah, it's just, it's really cool, you know? Um, but yeah, so we picked a paint color out. He's gonna paint those tomorrow. I can't really help with that, but he's gonna paint them tomorrow for me it's two king size bed sheets and then two fitted sheets i think that's what's gonna work best but we'll see it could not work out but i hope it does fingers crossed because if it doesn't i'm screwed and i got two of these like i said it's a fitted sheet and then two sheets um a lot of people wonder how i did the fine line photo shoot i literally just used like paper rolls and we cut the paper rolls and like tape them on the wall and then um through that we did the pose and did all that kind of stuff like we taped them through the wall and the clothes I got were yeah normal and then the photographer she had a lens the photographer is my friend so I don't have to pay her we just do this together and work creatively together because it gives her like you know publicity through that and stuff like that so it all works out and it's all super cheap and then some of the other um recreation pictures I do I just do them literally with my iPhone and I just like wear the similar like clothes that look like kind of like Harry's but they're not because they're a lot cheaper and I just edit them the same way. So yeah. Hello you guys. Today is a different day. It is the next day as you saw from last night. Um, and last night I was talking about how we are going to spray paint the sheets because my dad paints cars so he's gonna help me out. Well, we run into a problem. My dad cannot do that unless it is not raining and it is raining outside right now, like badly. So, and it's gonna rain all day today, all day tomorrow and the shoot is Saturday. So I need to get this done today because I have class and work tomorrow. So I, and I have nothing going on today. So we came up with a plan B. Actually, this is like plan C because the spray paint didn't work. So we went to my dad and my dad was gonna paint it. And then this is how that would, that word to this plan. Um, this happens all the time with the recreation shoots. Um, I get, come up with an idea and then I have to redo it and then do it like 12 different times. Um, don't really know how Harry does it. Maybe it's because he has money. I probably that's probably why if I had a lot more money this would be easier but I don't so um we're going to Target and we're gonna get clothing dye 
and try to dye the bed sheets. And I know for a fact they're not going to be as bright as I want them to be. Um, they're definitely just not, it's just not going to be. But that's what Photoshop is for and editing apps. And I have a lot of those. So I, it should be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think it's going to work out. Um, but this is plan B. So we're going to go to Target and you guys are going to come with me. Daffodil. Daffodil. I think this one's probably going to be the best one. Okay. Gold and yellow. What are we doing, Dad? We're getting two, right? Yeah. yeah we're going to dye things. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have our dye here. It's golden yellow. That's the color we're going for. And our sheet. We're going to do one at a time. And then we did the stainless steel sink. And we're going to put the water in there. This is cold water. So that's what we're doing. And my dad's in there. And he's going to help me. Woo, say hi. Come and say hi. Say hi, bubby. What's that? We did a pretty good job. We'll, we'll see. We put cold water and then our dye mix, which was half a bottle of dye, and then salt. We mixed it. Those are our gloves. Right, Dad? Yes. It's 135, and that means it's time to take this out. Hee hee hee. This is our solution for drying. Just hung it up in the garage. Hi guys, it's Emma here again. And so we found out um, that we're gonna need another sheet, right? So I'm here in Walmart trying to find another sheet and none of the Walmarts have plain, plain sheets that are white that are not fitted sheets. So like, just like a regular sheet. And I am having a mental breakdown because I need a regular sheet. I've been to two Walmarts and I do not have time to go to another one because I need to dye this right now tonight. So we might have to buy a full sheet set. We really don't want to do that because I'm not going to use a full sheet set. I'm only going to use the one. So we're waiting on an associate to go check in the back, but I'm not okay. So. Hello everybody. I am in the comfort of my own home now. We had to buy the full sheet set for that one. Because it didn't work out, they did not have the one sheet, like the singular sheet, so we bought the full sheet set, and now it is sitting, the just the one regular sheet from the set is sitting in the dye, so now we have three dyed sheets, and the next time you will see me is going to be on Saturday. Good morning. It is Saturday, day of the shoot. It is 6 a.m. Our shoot is at 10. I need to get ready. And I still have one thing I need to paint and like figure out, I guess, before I go um, and pack a bag because um, me and her, when we do these Harry shoots, we always end up doing like normal photo shoots too, like with normal clothing and like not related to Harry. Um, so I need to pack like my regular clothes that I'm going to be wearing for the regular shoot and all that jazz. So I will be doing that. Um, the thing I need to paint, which I don't know if you guys know exactly the picture. I think it's obviously going to be in the um, thumbnail, but the exact picture that I'm doing, I need a stick, like a white stick that's like this tall that I can like hold. And I didn't realize it until like literally yesterday. I was like, okay, well, it's too late to buy a white stick now. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go into the woods and find a literal white stick and paint it white or a literal stick and paint it white so that's what we're gonna do this morning that's why I had to wake up earlier than I normally would have so I'm gonna get ready <laughs>
to pack my bag and I'm going to um, go find a stick to paint, <laughs> obviously, and do all that good stuff. Um, so I didn't know exactly what I was going to be doing with this video whenever I started making it. I was going to make it like a how-to video and then I was like no and then I was going to make it like a vlog style video which I've kind of done that. Then I was going to make it like a, I don't know. So I decided I was going to answer quest some questions on like how to do your own hairy, hairy recreation shoot. Um, you don't have to have a lot of money. A lot of people get that confused is they think they have to have a lot of money to do it. You really don't. I mean depending on the picture you might have to have more money than, than not. But I promise you that there's a picture out there that you can find of Harry that you can recreate that you have you don't even have to spend any any money on because there's been certain ones that I haven't had to spend any money on. You just find a picture you like and you don't have to get too technical with it. The main advice that I can give on if you want to do your own like recreation shoot of one of his pictures is to not take it so seriously because genuinely I just do it for fun. Like every single photo that I have I've only been doing this for a year now. Harry's birthday this year in 2020 will be a year of me doing recreations. Um, I did it for his birthday. That was like the start of it and I loved it. So I was like, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, but genuinely, like you just, you just do it for fun. Like if you see a shirt that you have and you're like, oh my God, this looks kind of like the shirt that Harry wore back in 2015 or something like that. Then go find pictures of him wearing that shirt in 2015. Look at his pose and get someone to take a picture with a background that looks somewhat similar. Or you can edit the background somewhat similar or find somebody else to edit it because people edit crazy things nowadays. Because um, most of my recreations, they have to do with editing. Like the, the picture itself is great, but like I have to like find a way to like manipulate both of the pictures and make them look very similar. So that's like the main thing with my recreations that people don't understand. So um, the main advice I can give is to just have fun. It's not life or death, you know, if you don't get the exact pose right or the exact outfit right, it's it's a recreation, it's just for fun. So it's okay because like, like my fine line photo shoot, I didn't get the pose exactly right. I had my arm kind of like all the way down and his is like, or it, I had like mine like, I didn't have my arm right in it. And a lot of people um, in the photo in Harry's, it warps outwards or it warps inwards, like inside, and mine goes out. Um, you'll you can see the difference on my Instagram um, page, but a lot of people like kept commenting on that, and I was like, that's like that's what this is though. Like this is literally just for fun. It's not. I wasn't trying to get it exactly right because if I was trying to get it exactly right, I would have a lot more money to do so. Um, but yeah, you guys have seen everything that I've done for this photo shoot. Like it's literally all DIY. It's all fun like I'm having fun doing it the moment I stop having fun doing it I will not be doing it anymore um because that's all this is it's just for fun so just have fun that's all I can say I hope you guys do your own recreation shoots and if you do totally send me them because I love these I've seen a lot of people doing them um and I love to look at them I literally love to look at them I'll tag um someone down below her name is also Emma which is weird but I'll tag her, I'll put her Instagram down below. She does a lot of recreation shoots too, and it's incredible. Like, it's so cool and fun. She's very, very specific with hers too, and it's awesome. So I'll tag her down below. Um, but yeah, I, they just just have as much fun as you can. Um, you guys are going to see how much fun me and my friend um, and photographer Nikki have when we do these shoots because they are so much fun, and we love each other. So it's going to be great, and I cannot wait to take you guys along. So I will see you guys um after I paint my stick or when I'm painting my stick either way I'm gonna find a stick for my photo shoot I hope if I don't find a stick I will freak out it needs to be a straight stick too I don't know how I'm gonna find this y'all that's a stick is it as tall as me kind of I'm gonna have to take all the branches off of it but it could work Dude, this could work, bruh. See what I see? What I mean by have fun? I'm literally out here in full face of makeup, finding a stick to paint for my photo shoot. Who does this? Who does this? The things I do for Harry Styles. That's all I'm gonna say. I almost just hit myself in the face with a stick too. Oh god. Okay, I got my stick. Here we go. I just 
have never painted a stick from your yard white for a Harry Styles recreation shoot and it shows. I'm kidding. I just wanted to use Twitter language but my stick is done and it's white and it's dry so that's good. Photo shoot time. So as most of you guys know I am involved in theater and my grandma helps out with costumes a lot so I'm at my grandma's house right now I'm gonna get um some hats because if you notice in the picture in the background of the picture there's a bunch of hats on the ground so i'm gonna get some hats we take a second and look at my car right now the things in my car for this photo shoot there's sheets down here it's fine if i got pulled over i would be looked at like i was a crazy person but i am a crazy person so it's okay say hi to harry I will um no thank you can I get started with a venti um, cold brew with the um, salted cream cold foam? You said a venti size? A venti cold brew, yeah, with the salted cream cold foam. You got it. Anything else for you there? Can I add um, sweet cream and vanilla into that, like extra? Yeah, sure. Um, so let's do, so it comes with the caramel syrup already. Do you want to keep that in there too? Yes, please. All right, cool. And then we'll add some vanilla and we'll add some sweet cream. Perfect. Anything else for you? Um, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, 583. We'll see you Thank you. Thank you. So, what you will see right now is a boring and plain old center place. It's, it's the basement, right? But what you will see in a few minutes is a Harry Styles recreation shoot. Um, I know what you're gonna say when you see it too. You're gonna be like, that looks nothing like the picture when you see the way it's set up. But um, like I said, a lot of it has to do with editing. So just wait till you see the final product before you judge. Um, Nikki is upstairs getting her fisheye lens and um, I'm down here and we're gonna set it up. <laughs> photos to come back in edited from my photographer um it's been a good few days now the photo shoot was saturday it is wednesday harry's birthday is this coming saturday so hopefully i will have them back um so i can post them on harry's birthday to be like a year of like recreations 
but up until this moment I'm going to post some of my other recreations like right now and then um and then I'm going to do obviously the last recreation now you can see that this is pretty much all just editing. This was taken on the hood of my mom's car. It was the first recreation I ever did, and it's pretty much all editing. This was taken in my backyard. This was taken in some room in my house, and it was ma major editing. This was taken on the roof of a parking garage with a stool from Goodwill. My internet best friend actually got me this shirt when she got it for me. I knew I had to take this picture. I literally took it in my backyard. This picture was taken in my best friend's basement. This is one of my favorite recreations ever, and it was literally taken in my room with a thrifted shirt. These are not Harry Styles Gucci sunglasses. These are sunglasses from the dollar store. Me and the same photographer that worked on this photo shoot actually didn't even mean to do this photo. This one is also one of my favorites. It was also taken in my friend's basement with a green light. This one is probably my most special recreation because Harry and James Corden noticed it, and I made the costume all by myself. Now that you guys are looking at the recreation side by side, you see how not specific they are. They're just for fun, and I actually do take requests on them, so DM me on Instagram if you have a request for a recreation. My internet best friend bought me this shirt from Etsy, and we literally took this picture at an outdoor shopping center. This is my most popular recreation picture, and up to this photo shoot, actually, it was the hardest recreation picture I ever did. And this is my most recent. All right, the time has finally come. It is time for you guys to see the finished product so i'm going to show you the picture of harry that i was planning on doing that i was trying to recreate and then i'm going to show you my picture right after and that was that thank you guys so much for watching this if you guys have any more video ideas or things that you guys want me to do just comment them down below or dm me on instagram if you guys don't follow my instagram yet my instagram is linked down below it's at mckendra with three l's at the end and you guys should totally follow me because I post all the time, constantly. I love posting. I love talking to you guys. Um, as I always say, treat people with kindness. Choose love every single day. Fangirl supporting fangirls. Just be kind to everybody. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And have a great rest of your day, week, night, morning, whatever it is. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.